Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization 5. Yeah, I'm doing another one, and this is my reason for it. I've kind of been terrible at all of my other Civ 5 games, except for my first one. And this is the reason why I'm saying that. 1C Challenge was good, but in order to do these recordings and stuff to make it diverse, I've changed my playing style. Before, what I would do would be to just go on the fly do what challenges present themselves and immediately react. It's just it wasn't like a far term planning ahead. Whereas before I was trying to do everything ahead of time, like immediately going for a culture or science victory. What I normally do is I just I just settle as many cities as I can within the realm of not going over exit happiness, not going over like anything else, just keeping everything within good parameters so I have a decent amount of everything. And then I just normally build wonders and stuff. And then about turn 300-ish, I then go for a victory based on the uh, how I've been doing. But anyway, so we're going to start set up game. And what we're going to do is change this up. I'm going to play as... Um, I'm just going for fun. Essentially, this is a fun game for me. So I'm doing Ramses again. Because I love their ability and their burial tombs. Those are awesome on a continents map because I love continents standard size an advanced setup so I'm also something that you should note I am not going to take in any really like stuff you guys want me to do this is going to be free and I'll probably do this way ahead of time too so I might actually be done with the game by the time I post this but anyway so I just noticed something else I noticed too there's all these different map types I thought that was sick so all these different map types I didn't I didn't know about. Anyway, map size is standard. We are going to change world age. We're gonna make this random. Uh, we're gonna have a temperate climate, which is good. Rainfall is gonna be random. I'm just gonna see what that happens. Low field resources, legendary start. Okay. Okay, coming down. We're going to do advanced game options, allow policy saving, allow promotion saving. Now the start bias, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Um, it starts will be totally random. I'm not sure. I think that certain map conditions would mean that you start near a river or you start doing near a certain amount of resources. I don't think it means like, as Egypt, I will start near desert tiles, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. And then I think nothing else besides quick combat. And let's begin. We greet thee, O great Ramses, Pharaoh of Egypt, who causes the sun to rise and the Nile to flow, and who blesses his fortunate people with all the good things of life. O great Lord, from time immemorial your people lived on the banks of the Nile River, where they brought writing to the world, advanced mathematics, sculpture, and architecture. Thousands of years ago, they created the great monuments which still stand tall and proud. O oh, Ramses, for uncounted years your people have endured as other petty nations around them have risen and then fallen into Sorry, dust. Sorry, dude. Okay, wow, I like this start. So, um, something else I also changed, you probably may or may not be able to notice, is that my workers and settlers also show the yield bonus. Which is just, it's a setting, which I think is really cool because I don't have to worry about that at all if I need to see something. But yeah, so this is great. We have two luxury resources immediately here. We have gold here, which will be awesome. So we're going to want to make this a very much a commerce city. We're just going to go on the gold here. Oh, look at that. A ruin right off the bat. Uh, build a scout. We want to find as many ruins as possible. And our first research, we're going to want animal husbandry. And the reason for that is because I want to see if there's any horses anywhere nearby. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, sweet! Extra population. So this will give me a little bit better production, a little bit better science. So I'm effectively, I'm only going to be looking for good city locations that are good for uh, luxury resources generally. I might go on strategic resources later. <gasps> Natural wonder found, Mount Fuji. Okay, so we will probably... And there's more silk down here, so if there's something around here, we'll probably settle a city here. So we can work the Mount Fuji, we can work Mount Fuji. And more ruins and a barbarian encampment. 
Okay, so so far no, nothing too special around here. But we shall see if that changes. 65 gold. Okay, not necessary, but not bad either. In fact, you know what? How do they look? Minor defeat. Yeah. No thank you. We'll just continue to look around here. Okay, choosing production. Six turns for a monument. I must have a lot of stuff here. You know what? I'm going to do this so that I can get more culture faster. Because that would be very nice. Okay, so we've already started to travel down. We're going to travel up to the, towards the right. And just try to encompass this area. jungle. Oh, spices. So here we go. We have a decent location. We'll, we'll probably make that an ocean city down there. That'd be great. It'll give me good access and some naval access. We'll have fish and whale. So maybe right here. Or over here. It depends. We'll see. And yeah, we'll go ahead and go through this area. And bananas. Hmm. So probably right here then. So I have bananas, Mount Fuji, silk, spices, fish, and then eventually the whale. Okay, let's have you up here. And we have met Singapore, who is a maritime city-state. We have more gold up here. Hmm. And this is also the northern hemisphere, so we probably, hopefully there won't be anyone to our left. Thou shalt not muzzle. The pro oh, we have a city-state up here. We'll go ahead and meet these guys. And you here. There's another city state. And our next research. It doesn't need to be anything really special at the moment, but mining is probably. Well, I won't have a worker. That's something to note. I won't have a worker till then. So let's open the tech tree, and we're going to need mining. But we are also going to need calendar. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and rush that because I would really like to get a Stonehenge built. Okay, you can move here. Okay, we have met Hanoi. Once again, we're the first to meet them. And you can come up here. Belgrade. Okay, so there is gold up here, but I already have a gold resource over by my city, and there doesn't appear to be any other luxury resources, so I'm going to ignore that. At least for now. Ooh, are those ruins? No, those are just trees. Okay, we... well, I'll actually go ahead and keep exploring this direction. A little bit, we'll go up to that hill, and then we'll... they might stop depending. It's a nice hill over here. Furs, okay. And wine. There we go. Another different resource. Right. Yep, so we've reached the endish area. So we're going to go back down. Oh, that's not good. Okay, cheese production. We finished the monument. That's our only building. We will build a worker. We can start working these tiles. You know what we're going to do, actually, because my work will be done for, we'll have pottery going. And that's not what I want. Okay, we can just open up the tech tree. Pottery. Then mine, and then mining, and then we will do that. But we're going to have these warriors come down to here. And my scouts, which somehow did not get attacked, will run this way. Ooh, look what we have here. Cerro de Posti. So this might be another good location, because we have wine up here too. So this would actually be another nice location, and it's relatively close to my city. And we meet Catherine. Okay, so she's over to the leftish area. Some more wine, so right around in here would be great with all these deer too, and be a good city. 
runes discovered? Hello. Go over there. Don't move yet. Make sure I grab these runes. Now we get 30 culture. Nice. Okay, you're gonna come up on this hill. More ruins, but they're gonna grab them. Oh, we found two! So they grabbed that one. Shall the clay say to him that fashion? Okay, so I like got a second one. That's awesome. Um I like okay, I liked this area here. Because we'll have access if we put a city like right around here, we'll have deer, wine, and gold. So this city would be like a really, really good output. And we got another population. Ooh. Okay, so we're adopting next policy. So the patch changed some stuff up. Especially the tradition and liberty. Uh, tradition now uh, gives three culture in the capital when you adopt it. Uh, an aristocracy only gives 20% uh, bonus when building a wonder, not 33. Legalism provides a free culture building in your first four cities. Oligarchy gives uh, no maintenance costs to cities or units within gar that are garrisoned. 15% uh, growth and 2 plus in each city with land elite, which is actually really nice. That's a good... Wouldn't be bad for a larger civ. And monarchy, plus 1 gold and minus 1 habits for every 2 civ or citizens in, in your capital. So this tree is not quite as powerful as before. And the liberty tree has gotten a total makeover. So liberty is good for one extension. So it will provide one culture in every city. So regardless, you'll always start out with one culture, which would be great. Uh, collective rule. Speeds the training of settlers by 50% in the capital and a free settler appears near the capital. And the Republic is plus one production in every city. Uh, citizenship, citizen, citizenship gives 25% uh, increased construction rate by work or for workers. And a free worker appears near the capital. And then representation. Each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal. So every city you found will give 33 less. Now, if you're paying attention to this, it will increase 30%. So I'm assuming that it gives you a net, or gross, or however you want to put it, negative 3% per city, which is amazing. So we're probably going to ignore uh, this half, but we will get uh, at least these two. Uh, tradition is not bad. But I'd rather have this, honestly. And we'll get some more cult. We'll get more. Well, hmm, because this is kind of. I only have my capital right now. This will give me more culture off the bat. So we'll do this. We'll get tradition. Probably hit aristocracy and then go down uh, liberty. Because I won't be getting the free seller anyway, so that won't be a big deal. But anyway, now we have six culture per turn. Which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we definitely want to settle over here. Haha, <laughs> I got a ruin and you didn't. Actually, you did, but no. Um, what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna bring my warrior, have him go back to the city. Uh, he's done a lot of exploring. We're gonna have my, uh, we're gonna have him finish up over here. We're gonna have my scout continue on in this general area. We have now met Warsaw. Okay. The is under attack, and we can adopt another policy already. Out of our brain encampment. So the question is, what do we want? Well, I won't need aristocracy for a little bit. The next culture I should get relatively quickly. So this will give me even more culture per turn, and I'm going down this tree anyway. Because representation is great. I'm just going down the tree for that. So we're going to go ahead. Don't want this yet. Legalism would be great later on. Not yet. And grab a... Uh, go down the liberty tree. So we get four more culture per turn than just with the buildings and stuff, which is good. I mean, I don't intend to build any wonders quite yet. It will be done in 13 turns, which should be more than enough for me to start, uh, uh, or more than time for me another policy before I start building Stonehenge. So I really would want Stonehenge because I want I'm I'm going for like a lot of policies. 
not necessarily for a cultural victory, but so I have a ton of my my empire has a ton chunked. of advantages. And if I have a, a heavy culture, oh, and I'm more sauce the borders. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna have you come over here and clear up sites up here. And here we have a warrior, it's enemy barbarian warrior. That's just fantastic. Good combat, and we got white. Holy cow! Oh sweet, we made another one. So many city states. Dublin. Shoes production. Um, they want us to build a granary. I am not keen about that. I want another work warrior. See, so it, it gives me plus two food. Each source of oh, but each source of deer and wheat worked by the city gives plus one food. That would be absolutely amazing in this city. So let's take a look in the city. And we're going to see what I can purchase. I have a decent amount of gold. I can purchase nothing. Well, that stinks. And I can't build a warrior. Why not? Oh, because another unit's in the city. Okay, so I can purchase a warrior. So that's what I'll do is I'll purchase a warrior and build a granary. Oh, that's not good. Um, can I still not purchase a unit? Because he's in there. I don't think I can move him, though. Okay, so we'll do this later, but we'll go ahead and get the granary queued up. Let's see if this barbarian comes in. There he is. Okay, so we're going to continue on down here. And you do not want to do that. That would be dumb. Stalemate. Uh, and I might lose him. Okay, let's have you move out. No, because I don't want to do that. Um, just do nothing. You're going to get killed if I make you do that. Um, just stay in the city for now. So do nothing turn. He's healed up a little bit. We'll see after I arrange him, see what damage we can do. Some more stuff down here. Ranged attack. Okay, go down. Go to the gold. Okay, can we actually wipe these guys out? Decisive victory? Yeah, go ahead. We'll just have you run right back into the city. Next turn. And you know what, I might actually rush something else, because I'm... Gotta have that city in my... or unit in my city to heal up anyway. But we'll see. Now, go to the gold, so you can build a mint and everything later on. Well, I guess you need... Uh, what is that? Marketing or something. People who like shiny things the most. So I have the most gold. It's not completely surprising, but really like that location over there. Uh, build a mine. More production. And that tile, which would be great. I have a feeling this granary is really going to help me. And, let's see. Let's have you come up here. This hill. Yeah, I wonder if all the uh, stuff I already got. All the other... Uh, what are they called? Ruins got discovered already. Genghis Khan. So this is the first time I've met him outside of actually playing him. He might be over to my right. That's interesting. And we meet Alexander, so Alexander's down here. Okay. So we're gonna clear through this area right here just to make sure there's nothing we missed. So I don't like having all that fog of war too nearby me. Yeah, I'm going to have to be really fast to grab those locations though. I'll probably put a city there as well. But uh, yeah, so next turn. Okay, come on over here. Choose production. 
Um, I am going to start... Let's build another scout. I'm not up for that. Uh, I'm going to have to start a settler at some time, but I already need, only need two turns for this, and I want to build Stonehenge right away. So we're just going to go ahead and start up a warrior, and because I have these warriors over here, I'm going to move my warriors to defend my settlers. Or workers who are already in shooting or in danger zone. It's a bummer. So we'll have them go over here and we'll have them build this farm. Okay, and you will continue to look around. Build the farm. Which is fine. In fact, we're just going to go ahead and finish up this, uh... So teach us to number our day. Warrior, and we finish, uh, we can adopt a policy. And we will be grabbing, uh, aristocracy. So we'll have a 40% production increase when building wonders. Which will be absolutely overpowered. And our next research will be what? We've got a lot of them. Pyramids would be a worthwhile one wonder to go for. But I think the wheel. No? Well, yeah, we'll get the wheel because I want to build the pyramids and then I'm going to found another city. Or not the pyramids, the uh, Stonehenge, and then I'm going to found another city. So that's not a huge deal. I'm just going to send out my warriors to kind of spread around a little bit. It's an idea, but I do think I need to start founding cities a little faster. Because I see a lot of good locations and a lot of places that I they might want to go. Okay, I get a decisive victory, but I'm actually going to have them alert because I see another warrior out there, and I don't like that. Yep, yeah, because I just got attacked. So I'm glad I defended. Okay, and okay, so they have horses over here, but this gold resource is going to get eaten up by a city I'm going to put up here. So I'm going to. I think if I'm going to put a city down here, it's probably going to be... Actually, I'll probably be in the fray. It'll be like a non... Uh, let's go ahead and have you come all the way up here. It's going to be a non-luxury resource city. And you get promoted. We're going to give you rough terrain. And we're going to have you fortify until heal because we have another warrior coming up. Alright. So, range... And I could finish them off, but instead I'm going to have you guys finish them off because the other guys can't get to me anyway because of the hill. So they are in no danger of getting attacked. And our next production, wow! John Edge will still take me 18 turns. Hmm. Well, let's see. I really want Stonehenge. Even though... Yeah, it'll be 40% increase. If I put it at a production focus, let's see what that does. 16. So it only saves... What does it do effectively? It gives me more production, slightly less food and more gold. Less gold. No change to science or culture. So we'll keep it on default. However, if this is the case, how long till my next policy? 20 turns. You know, that'll be worth it, because the next policy I'm going to grab will be a citizenship. Because I really want the representation. So, yeah, so the next one I'll grab will be citizenship, so I'm not going to be able to grab it anyway, and I'm going to need a second worker anyway. So it looks like I'm just going to have to go with that, and we're going to go ahead and send this warrior over here to clear up the fog of war and to secure an area for my next city. You don't know why you stopped. Oh, I guess they were in range of you. That's okay. Go ahead, and keep going. Um, how much damage? Four. So it'll be three turns in. So it'll be six turns out here, three turns in here, or two turns in here. So go ahead and just go in there. And it'll be the same if I put you in my city or not. So it'll take you another turn to move into my city. And we're done there. Okay, go build that mine. 
Uh, you f go ahead and heal up. And have you just scout around over here. Shouldn't be anything too important. But we really do want a city up here to get this access to this gold and to the national wonder. Or natural wonder. Because that will give me a ton of money. That will be a great money city. Oh, here we have Catherine. So yeah, we want to settle, um, oh, Barbarians over there. We definitely want to settle here first because this is like a prime location and they're really close to it. Wisdom and virtue. Oh, wow. My scout just got wiped. Fall back. So we finished the wheel. We are now going to work on trapping, because we want the uh, camps for the deer I've got. But yeah, so a good place for this city would probably be where I'm going to put them, around that area at least. So it's the both deer, the gold, and the, uh, and the uh, natural wonder, which would be absolutely great. And you guys, you're done healing, so... You guys are going to explore up this way a little bit. You guys heal up unless they show up behind you. Okay. Okay. Barbarians up ahead. Um, since they're healing, and because I'll have them... Well, actually, there's a barbarian camera down here, isn't there? Since you're over here, let's see if we can take that out. I'll have some time, I think. And just continue on exploring up here. Shouldn't be too much. Plantation in nine turns, go ahead. I'll have some time before I work those deer tiles. And go ahead and wipe this guy out. And there's another one right behind him that's slightly weakened. We can wipe them out too. That's nice. And I watch there'll be a Barbarian encampment right behind him and stuff. Which would be really bad for me, but we'll see. Okay, take him. Oh, so this might not be a too bad location for another city, but not really the world's best. Gangs Khan is in the classical era. I think they rushed. Minor defeat. Okay, so you guys can do nothing. We're gonna have you. Yeah, go ahead and start moving back. And you just come take a look up here. Yep, there is one here. Okay, hopefully they won't attack. That would be really bad. Even brute beast. Nope, no one's attacked, but these guys have somebody. Follow us, maybe. And let's see, what could you do? Major defeat. Yeah. Heal up. I'll see if we can do something later. Choose our next research. Writing. I do really want the pyramids, but I really would rather have a library or something to uh, help me with science. Okay, and you guys can go explore over here. More barbarians, holy cow. Ugh! They attacked me, and I can't attack them. That's not fair. Go ahead and go up here. More barbarians. I might be able to take those ones out, actually. So we'll see. Everyone's entering the classical era. Sweet, sweet. Some culture, some great engineer points. And I can build a water mill next. It gives me one, that only gives me one production though. I thought it was more than that, but it gives me two food. Not necessary. Um, I'm gonna build a settler. Seven turns. You need orders. Scout. 
I don't think they'll attack. There's nothing up here. Okay. And... How do you get promoted? Oh, you're getting ranged probably by the that galley. What can we do? Minor victory? Well... Uh, sure, why not? And we'll give you a medic promotion, because I love the medic promotion. We're gonna heal, keep healing. Minus one, minus eight. Wow, they just got wiped clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building our Route 2. I'm not 100% sure where my city is gonna go, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of these two tiles. So we're going to build a Route at least, well, I'll go ahead and actually queue it up for the title. I, title I think it's going to be, which is going to be this tile right here. If I can get the hex grid up, it's a little easier. Let's see. This tile. And they now have two. That's not good. Move there. You can forget about this. We need you over here to make sure my worker's okay. We can adopt another policy. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so we really do want that representation. So we're going to go down this and we're going to grab citizenship. So we get a free worker who will be taking the place of this worker. So, all is good. Everyone's entering the classical era. He who destroyed. I'm still not there. That's fine. I think I'll be okay. Our next research. Ooh, philosophy. Actually, that'd be great for the oracle and burial tombs. But bronze working sounds good. So does masonry. All these sound great. Go ahead and grab masonry. Might work on the pyramids. Probably Russia library. And as soon as I get another that extra resource, I see if I can trade with everybody. Warriors damaged by enemy galley. Enemy brute attacked by warrior. Three damage. Okay, so you're doing. You're getting. You got. Holy moly! You guys got. Absolutely demolished. You can they run away fast enough. I think you're gonna get killed. That's a bummer. Alert. We're gonna have you heal. Oh, you're alive! Okay, get back to my city. One guy left. And in case we have my settler. Awesome. Does not give me any places over here to build, or have you just join up with this warrior? Our next production, library five turns. It's both they're both five turns. Great library. Gives me a free tech. That'd be great for slingshotting. Let's see. Okay, let's see something. Three turns till I can build the pyramids, so I can build the library or a watermill. I have enough money. So we're gonna get library. That should increase my science a little bit. And we are going to build a watermill. Build a national college as well. Must have a library in all cities. Well, this probably will be my science hub. So we'll, do is we'll queue this up. It'll be seven turns. And because I need a library in each city, I'm going to have to wait and hold that city that I'm going to found until then. But it'll be have like only two turns left. So that'll be good to have built. I really, really hope that it... Uh, 
like doesn't like get this like, this undone or something because I did, did this way, but that would be really unfortunate. I'm actually gonna have you well next turn I'll have you automate. So you finished masonry. We are now gonna grab philosophy because I guess my helpers say that's what we should do, so And we will have you auto-explore. And just walk straight into them. That's great. Okay, so we now have uh, an extra resource. We're not going to have you build camps, but we're going to check and see if anyone else has money. Preferably over 250. Genghis Khan has 300, and Alexander has a lot as well. So we're going to talk to him. Luxury resource, Yo. silk, or 300 gold. Nice. Alright, so since we've done that, we now have enough gold to buy something else. Which shall be another building, because I want to build the pyramids next. Which I'm assuming I can build, I'm just going to check to make sure. Yeah. I can build the pyramid. So we're going to rush the water mill. Okay, so it wants me to put the city up here. Not totally surprising uh, because it gives me gold and stuff from the river. However, I really want access to this gold tile. And the wine would be good too. So we're going to have you him over here. So he will have a lot of desert tiles. We can put like maybe some landmarks or something there, which would be fine. We'll have access to all these tiles, which would be great. So we're gonna wait one. We're gonna hold off on that for one turn though, so I can finish the national college and get my science boost up to a good number. If you go on alert, have you do nothing. So that city won't be extremely good, but it will be good enough. Okay, so you're now getting 27 science per turn, so that's great. It's a good amount of science. We're right, now going to found the city, and hopefully that number does not go down. No, it actually goes up, because we have another pop. Great. So choosing your next production, we want... Well, the Great Library gives us a free tech. And in 13 turns, we're going to see something. These are all really low levels, because we have good science. What will we want to rush that I can do in 13 turns? Civil service. The highest one. Can I get there? Ooh, I can get there really quickly, actually. Well before philosophy. So, in fact, 13 turns. Can I pop something even higher? Maybe, like, education. More, even more science. No, that would take way too long. Um, machinery? Longer still. Currency. So I don't really need to pop a tech. Because it will take me about as long to build a building as it will to do the tech. So it's not really worth it. Look at philosophy. And it's not really worth it, actually. I think the pyramids would be a better go because I worker speed, construction speed increased by 50%. You know what? I am going to check this, though. Construction speed... I'm pr that I'm I'm assuming that that is I'm because I'm not 100% sure on all these stuff because it could be either way. I am assuming engineer worker construction. Yeah, I am very much assuming that that is responding to the weight. So they'll, they'll build stuff in half the time, which isn't necessary. Neither is the tech. I have a good amount of science. 12 turns. If I put you on a production focus, plus it actually will definitely do this because it gives me a great engineer. No change. It gives me a great engineer as well. And if we can after, then we will... Well, actually, because I want the Oracle too. So that's something else to consider. I want the Oracle as well. 
Yeah, you have terrible production because you haven't expanded yet. You are getting one culture per turn. You don't need a worker. We're even going to be that bad. We do want fast border expansion, though. And the reason is because Catherine's right there. And I could buy tiles. How much would they cost? 50 and 50? The Michael. That cost Michael up. We're going to buy this wine. And the cost did go up. Okay. So it'll expand there next. I won't have to worry. I'm not really too worried. I don't need the sheep. It's fine if I do get it. But not necessary. But we do want the oracle. Quite nice. Senior poem was Bugrat eliminated. Okay. Uh, our apologies. Yeah, I knew she was going to get kicked at me. But I really like that land. There is only one good. The okay, so we're now in the classical era. So I'm going to cut the video off here. Thanks for watching, and God bless.